What is going on lads and welcome to episode number 8 of the Bronze Pack Method to Glory. A series in which we try and make as many coins as possible from the Bronze Pack Method itself and no other way of making coins. So our primary source of income is the Bronze Pack Method and that's it. So we're currently sitting on, we're starting the episode on 153,615 coins as something did just sell there. Um, let's have a look at what we've got in the transfer list for now. So we've got 700 for Delac there which is decent. Uh, the Duisburg kit we've got 254 which is nice. Uh, 350 for Dimitriou and then other than that all decent red jig there we get 500 for so as it currently stands we have 20 cards on that transfer list now if you haven't done the bronze pack method before I'd go back and watch the series from full because you will pick up hints and tips all the way through the series but I always suggest to have 100 cards on that transfer market to maximize the profit that you can make from the bronze pack method so our first port of call as always is to go straight to the store open bronze packs now we do have objectives they are recently introduced to this series essentially once we've completed all three of them objectives we can again is literally the first pack of the day first pack of the episode and we pack at the which is mental i've packed him four times now on this account four times but as i was saying we have got objectives and these objectives are there and this is one of them to pack a team of the week 10 times. This is the third of the 10. So you will see it update from two to three. But, you know, as soon as we complete all them objectives, we get to earn enough moment stars to then purchase the ultimate draft pack. Then we're going to play the draft. We won't, we won't really show any of it on here, but I'm going to do offline drafts only just so I always get the best reward. And then we're going to save them for team of the year. We're not going to make coins from them drafts or packs, whatever. All we're going to do is open them at team of the year. So we've got something to look forward to when that does drop. But as ever, a very, very decent start to this episode. I should be able to get 7.2k for him, which will happily take every day of the week. Hang on, right, no, this is weird, I've packed him five times, That this is literally five packs, six packs after the last one we just packed, this is mental, and it's the same player every time, and I'm not complaining, because he's the most expensive player out of the team of the week that you can get in bronze packs, but this is mental, like, just for a bit of context, like, I've gotten to the next pack now, but there's only 34 items out of 100 in the transfer list, so I've only put 14 new items in this transfer list now, and out of all of them, He's two of them, which is mental. Look, and they've both sold. 34 of 100. And so that means we've only filled it up by uh, 14 more cards and two of them were that informed card. I don't really know what to say at this point. Like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Like, we're at 55 out of 100, so only 20 from where we last were, and we've packed three informs in the space of 35 cards in the transfer list. Like, this guy's not worth a lot of money, so, you know, it's not a massive deal, but it's 5 out of 10 now in the tracker. Uh, Zhang Yifeng, I'm going to check his price quickly now as well. So, I mean, I'm getting 3.3k for him, which isn't too bad, and, you know, I'll take that every single day, but that's three informs already in the episode, which is mental absolutely mental so this one looks promising we've got taylor here from cambridge united center back his cheapest on the market is currently 2.3k so i'm going to list mine up for 2,000 coins in the hope that he sells i'll put 1 1500 start price on there and then we get a few other players in here that i'm yet to check so hopefully we can make a bit of profit on these as well and if you are new to the series as well if you could please smash a like hit subscribe on that that would be massively helpful but not only that, I did want to let you know that we are keeping bronze packs as well. Now, this has got nothing to do with any objectives that we've made up on the uh, on our series. But it is essentially, I'm trying to save up 100 of them. Now, I've got five at the moment. I've got five bronze packs that I'm saving up. And essentially, I'm saving them for an episode where the, the only packs I'm going to open in that one episode is going to be the, the free packs. And we're going to see how many coins we can make from them free packs. Okay, so with this last... Pack. We're still on about 153,000 coins, uh, just over that amount actually, but we are going to have filled the transfer list. We're on 99 out of 100 right now, just need one more card to list. Uh, so we'll find that out of this pack and then we'll go and check what is sold in the meantime. So none of the players look likely to sell, the most likely looking to sell was Moldovan there. But I will list this player as he's in the Bundesliga, 
Uh, so, you know, he might sell just from being in a bigger league. So, let's have a look what we're on. We're on 100 out of 100 in that transfer list. We've got 153,203 coins. 14 cards have sold with 86 still remaining. And obviously, we've packed free and formed so far in today's episode. 7.2, 7.3 and 3.3k for them. We've got 2k for Fres there, or Freeze. Uh, other than that, a couple of 200s, 550 for Wright, Bowden we got 700 for, 850 for Gloucester, and then other than that, it's been all decent. So what we're going to do is get rid of them out of the transfer list. We've still got space in that transfer list, but I'm going to come back and see how many coins we're on. Hopefully we're touching around 165 to 170,000 coins, and that will be a very, very successful first 100 cards listed in that transfer list. Okay, so I've accidentally just cleared the transfer list. 40 cards did sell. Um, 163,000 coins is what we're sitting on, which is 13,000 coins profit. Uh, we've still got 45 cards selling, so plenty of coins still in that transfer list. Uh, so I'm not at all worried about that. Currently 13,000 coins up since the start of the episode, and we've got 45 cards in the transfer list. So we're going to fill that transfer list back up to 100 again, and then see what we're on after that. So we actually get this guy here who's cheapest buy now is 3.5k. Now, I'm not really sure why, so I'm going to lift him for 2.7 and try and get quite a quick sale on him because I feel like he's one of those players that will just bounce straight back down to 200 coins very shortly. But yeah, we'll list him for 2.7 and hope he sells. I really can't believe how many packs we've quite opened and not yet packed the Bohemian kit. If you have picked, packed it yourself, do let me know in the comments below, but I find it impossible. Surely they've put the pack way up for that kit knowing that it's going to go for like 5k. Okay, so at that time again, where the transfer list is going to have 100 out of 100 in it. And we finally pack a Brazilian manager who we will get 5,000 coins for. And that in itself is the first extinct card that we have packed. Now, technically, he's not extinct because of that card, but that card's gone. It's expired, so now he's extinct. So that is one of five for extinct cards. And that's going to be 5,000 coins back from that pack finally we get one just as i was saying that is going to be the um basically the, the transfer list full again uh, i'm going to keep all them discard the rest and we'll quickly go and see what is sold out of the hundred that we have and um, the brazilian managers sold straight away there which is going to be helpful for the episode so so far so so good for for the episode free team of the weeks and a Brazilian manager that's sold instantly for 5,000 coins. Okay, so a little bit of time has passed and we do come back to 171,963 coins, which is a lot more like it and a lot better. Uh, 250 coins for the Ipswich kit, 200 for the Guarinha, I probably butchered that, uh, and 150 for the CD Mirandes kit. So kits do sell. It's worth checking and listing your kits if they are if there's not a lot on the market or if they've got a value so two rare uh, we'll quickly scroll through rather than going for every single card try and speed this up a bit 850 for serban there which is nice uh, a couple of 200 you'll see a lot of 200s summer now i, I really mentioned this is he the youtuber there's a guy who does youtube or so he's quite big on social media who plays for waldorf now is this the guy let me know in the comments down below if you do know uh, we get 700 for baldwin there uh, uh, Loftgren 1700 so a couple of decent sales which is obviously made up for the profit uh, and obviously we sold the Brazilian manager there straight away for 5k so a decent pull uh, I'm not quite done there yet I was going to end the episode we've just sold another card went out to 172723 so I'm not quite done yet I was going to end the episode but I will fill the transfer list one more time and we'll see how many coins we can end the episode on so I think EA have messed the market up here because for whatever reason this guy is apparently extinct as well Git Kajaya. So I'm going to list him up as well and see if he sells. But I did see some on Twitter about the market potentially being messed up. So we'll see if any of them sell. And if they do, then they actually were extinct. Uh, but I don't think they will. There's another one there. I, I think there must be some sort of bug. It must be a bug because there's no way that I've just packed three like, extinct players within like four packs. So if they sell, then they count as extinct cards. But I think for whatever reason, comparing price is currently broken. Being a bit of a weird um, end of the episode because I feel like the market's a bit bit weird at the moment there's a lot of um i'm not fully convinced that the prices that i'm being given here from comparing prices is actually correct to the point where i feel like i've stored a lot more cards than i should because for whatever reason the market's a little bit odd at the moment and i'm not sure if it's a bug with ea or if it's a bug or sorry if it's the market itself but you know them three extinct cards have really started to make me question whether the, the bronze pot method is worth doing at the moment while the market looks a bit buggy so we do come back and we're on 168,609 coins with 21 cards selling. We've got a kit there selling and a badge, the Finn Habs badge finally sold. I was actually going to discard that at some point. 
so 200 coins across the board, 550 there for Ludwig. Uh, let's have a look if anything else is sold. 200 coins, 200, 200, 700 for Kerban there, and a few kits are still selling so what we'll do is we'll clear that off the transfer list and i'm currently streaming so if you haven't already i do live stream on twitch and youtube but i'm currently live on youtube uh, and i'm going to be opening packs for the bronze pot method to glory account on there uh, so you'll see what i've packed at the end of that kind of thing and we'll see what they've sold for but 168,989 coins with 52 items in that transfer list so let's see what we can fill it back up to uh with through with, with, with 100 and yeah we'll see uh, how many coins we're going to end on Okay, so in the stream, Alan Strong's just come in and told me that Norwegian kits do actually sell. Uh, sorry, managers, not kits. So I've had a look and they do sell for about 400 coins. So every single Norwegian manager that I've got in my club on this account, I am going to sell for 400. Now I've counted and we've got eight of them, I believe, which is going to be 3,200 coins after, uh, sorry, before tax. So it's going to be around 3,000 coins that we're going to get back from the managers that we just had in the club. Uh, which is quite decent considering it's pretty much free care for, for storing managers. Now, this is another reason why I store managers and store kits because they can suddenly have value. I mean, this is probably value because of the likes of Erdegaard's new card and obviously Haaland, Haaland the uh, the robot. Uh, but yeah, just a little tip for you. Uh, thank you for Alan for letting me know that uh, in the stream. So we have actually just packed another silver team of the week. We've already packed a couple in this episode. Slight spoiler for those that are currently in the stream. But this makes it 6 out of 10 for team of the week cards packed in bronze packs on the new challenges. Okay, so the stream has ended. We streamed for 2 hours on YouTube. Make sure to try and check into some of them if you can. It does really, really motivate me to continue doing this. But we've sold 39 items out of the 100 that were in the transfer list. So we've still got a lot of cards to sell. Obviously, the inform that we packed on stream sold for 8k. Let's go through some of the cards that did sell. A lot of 200s across the board, 900 there, 700. So some decent sales above the 200 coin mark. All of the Del uh, the Norwegian cards did sell for 800 apart from Hellstrup there who sold for 150. So, you know, maybe put 300, 400 as the buy now and start price. But we're going to clear them off the transfer list. We are going to end the episode there. I'm going to basically discard the kits that haven't sold. Discard that kit and discard Vicarage Road as well. Relist everything else. So we're ending the episode on 177,957 coins. Now, we haven't touched bronze upgrades yet this year, which is why, as you can see on the challenges at the bottom of the screen, we're still on zero out of uh, 100. However, for the extinct uh, cards, we did obviously pack a Brazilian manager. I've been recording that many episodes of this. I can't remember if it was this episode or the last one, but that is one of five. We haven't packed any more, unfortunately. And then we've packed six out of 10 Team of the Week cards. So we've got four more to go until we can tick that challenge off. Uh, hopefully, we'll start touching bronze upgrades soon so we can get that one ticked off as well. And then it'll just be extinct cards that we need to try and pack. But if you have enjoyed today's episode, please do let me know in the comments down below. It's been solid progress. We're on 177,000 coins, which is brilliant. Uh, we've packed four Team of the Weeks, I believe it is, in today's episode, which is a new record for this series. And obviously, it'd be quite fun to keep track on records, to see what episode does best, etc. But thank you very much for watching, guys. If you've made it this far, if you could please comment. We do this at the end of every episode. If you can please comment, uh, Ekin Salibi. I would really appreciate that you've made it this far and thank you very much for watching yet again and I'll see you all in the next video.